Hello, friends. I hope everyone is well. Uh, I'm sorry we can't be together uh, this month, but it's important that we be safe, and it doesn't mean that we can't do some science. So hopefully you went by the library and you picked up a kit that looks like this. If you didn't, pause the video right now, head up to the library, get that kit, and come back and hit play. If you did, let's see what you've got inside of here. And by the way, you're going to maybe want to do these things with me, but don't. Let me do them first. Then you can try them yourself because some of these take a little bit of practice. And since we'll be doing some things with water, you'll want to practice over the sink so you don't make a big mess that you have to clean up, right? Okay, so let's see what we have inside. You should have a little portion cup with some interesting green stuff inside of it. You should have a little Dixie cup here. Um, you should have, oh, a fidget spinner. That's cool, right? Um, you should have a playing card uh, like this. You should have a Ziploc bag. This is a snack size Ziploc bag. This size right here is a quart. All right, oh, a spoon and a pencil. Those are your supplies for the experiments that we're gonna do. We're gonna do some things that look like magic, totally not magic. It's all science, but it does look like magic, just a little bit. All right, so what we wanna do first is, I'm gonna take the Dixie cup here and my playing card, okay? Doesn't matter which side that you use. And what I wanna do, I have some water right here. I have some water. Oh, look, and there's, there's my logo on there. Isn't that exciting? Okay, so I'm gonna pour some water in the Dixie cup, just like this. Now, when you're first doing this, you probably don't wanna fill this all the way up, because again, practice, and practicing over the sink. Now, you also have to remember that a Dixie cup uh, can kind of squash real easy. So if you squeeze it too hard, it's, you know, it's going to bust and the water's going to come out. So don't do that. Be gentle with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my playing card. Like I said, doesn't matter which side. Um, this is the eight of hearts. So I'm going to put this down. Also, that doesn't matter either. All right. So I have this card on top of the cup, just like this. And the important thing is I want to know that the card is completely covering the opening of the cup. That's important. So what I want to do now is crazily, oh, I'm going to turn this upside down. Okay, there we go. And without squeezing the cup, but definitely holding on to the cup, I'm going to remove my hand. Look at that. Looks like magic, right? It isn't. It's all a matter of pressure. So when I push the card on the cup and turn it upside down, I remove every bit of air from between these two items and it creates a super strong pressure seal. So you've got water pressure pushing down, air pressure pushing up. Air pressure happens to be stronger, so guess what? The card's gonna stay in place. Now, like we said, if any opening in the cup is showing, that gives that water an escape route. So you're gonna have a big mess. Now, over the sink, you're gonna have your hand here, turn it back under, you'll probably spill a little bit of water. That's pretty normal. Well, look, you can do this again. Looks like magic. It's not all science, all a matter of pressure with that. All right, so and I'm gonna clean some of the water here off the table <laughs> for our next experiment. Okay, uh, I'm gonna use, let's see, oh, my Ziploc bag right here. And I'm gonna take the water that I just had in uh, my Dixie cup and I'm gonna pour it into this Ziploc bag. But I do want to add some more water to it. So I'm going to fill this up. Oh, and of course, I got some more water on the table. All right, now I'm going to seal this up. Now, a grown-up can definitely help you with this. Okay, so now I just have a Ziploc bag that is filled with water. If for any reason yours has a hole in it, it shouldn't. But if it does, just you know, tape it up or get another bag. All right, so... Here we go, I've got a sharpened pencil. The crazy thing I wanna do is take this pencil, stick this through the bag. All right, here we go. You guys ready? All right, there we go. Whoop, check it out. Okay, looks like magic. It's not, it's all about what the Ziploc bag is made out of. 
It's made out of something called polymers, and those polymers will seal around the pencil. So you're able to stick a pencil through a Ziploc bag full of water, and the water doesn't come out. Now, if I pull the pencil out, what's going to happen? You're going to have holes in the bag, so the water is going to come out. So again, practice over a sink, or you'll have a big mess. All right. Next, we have your fidget spinner. Uh, you can remove this label off here. You don't need it. I'm just going to leave mine on because you guys don't want to watch me sit here and do that. Now, a fidget spinner sort of looks like magic, but it's all a matter of what it's made out of. So you got plastic, but these right here, 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 and in the middle are called ball bearings. So when I hold it in the middle, spin it around, you're going to see Newton's laws of motion in action. And it almost feels kind of magic as it pulls around. That's the distribution of the weight and the momentum, the spinning of your fidget spinner. Now, is this going to spin forever and ever and ever? No way, because you're going to have a force acting on it. And that force is called friction. Over time, it's going to slow it down as it's doing right now until that friction actually stops your fidget spinner, which it is about to do. So Newton's first law of motion states that an object at rest stays at rest unless acted on by an outside force, and an object in motion stays in motion unless acted on by an outside force. So obviously, if I'm just holding the fidget spinner like this, not moving it, it's not going to be in motion. But if I do this, it's now in motion, but there is a force acting on it and that's friction. And then for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. That's the third law of motion. So faster you spin it, the faster it's going to go, right? Slower you spin it, the slower it's going to go. A whole lot of serious science going on in this, but basically just kind of fun. And it does feel a little like magic between your fingers. It's all physics though. So something about your fidget spinner, when your grown up says to put it away, Put it away until the next time you can get it out and do a little science with it. Okay, last thing we have, this right here. So for this, you want to carefully open the lid, and then I'm going to pour some water in here. Before I do, though, let's see what we've got. We've got sand. Now, it's a little weird because it's green sand, right? But it is sand, okay? Um, you can actually have your sand uh, dry like this, which is kind of fun, or you can get sand wet. If you've been to the beach, you know when sand gets wet, you can actually shape it. You can make sand castles, things like that. So what I want to do is I want to get this sand wet. So I'm going to pour a little water in here. There we go. And there's my sand at the bottom. All right, so I'm going to stir this up. But what I want to do is kind of take this sand out. And interestingly enough, it's not wet. It's still dry. What in the world is going on? Oh, it's dry sand. This is so much fun to play with, you guys. It's called magic sand because we're talking about magic, right? It's not magic. That's just what it's called. It's actually hydroponic sand. That means that each piece, each granule of this sand has air around it. And it forms a barrier that keeps the water out. So your sand is going to stay dry. I actually have some here on the top here. Look, check it out. All right, I'm going to try to turn this down here so you'll be able to kind of see it. But you'll have your own so you can play with that. All right, so let me move this here. All right, there we go. Let's check it out. We got a little bit of water in there, but this sand is totally dry. Look at that on the top there. How cool is that? Hydroponic sand, also known as magic sand. So you have quite a few things here to do some experiments at home. Just because, again, we can't be together doesn't mean that we can't do some cool science. But again, put your fidget spinner up when your grown-up says, and practice your water experiments over the sink. 
you don't want to take that Dixie cup and card and say like, hold it over a grown up's head and it not work out. Just, sometimes that happens. So you want to practice and get really confident. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching the video, doing your science at home, and hopefully we'll be together again for our March program. Have a great rest of your day. Happy sciencing.